Can you talk about what are the strategies that businesses can use uh, to reduce SQL Server licensing costs in the cloud? One of the most effective ways is to use SQL Server Standard Edition whenever possible. So many businesses uh, opt to use Enterprise Edition simply to use always on availability groups for high availability and disaster recovery. But there are other options. You can build a SQL Server failover cluster instance with SQL Server Standard Edition, and that will eliminate the uh, need for the Enterprise Edition licenses. But you have to take in to account um, your storage options there. So things like Cyrus Data Keeper will help you minimize the expense. And there are other shared storage options as well that let you build SQL Server failover cluster instances with SQL Server Standard Edition. But beyond choosing between enterprise and standard, you have to look at your um, license mobility. So again, um, Azure offers hybrid benefits and AWS offers license mobility which basically lets you bring your on-premise SQL Server licenses as well as your Windows Server licenses. Uh, in the case of Azure, the Azure benefits will let you bring them into the cloud so you're not paying you know, per hourly fee for those licenses. And AWS, again, also lets you bring your SQL Server licenses into the cloud so you don't have to pay as you go for SQL Server.